it's me, Mallory Darby. Welcome to my channel. If it's not your first time watching, welcome back. It has been a while since we have tried some new makeup products, so I am very excited today. I'm headed outside. It is 90 degrees and sunny, so it is a perfect day for me to test out the new Fenty Hydra Visor product. So Fenty has dropped a new tinted sunscreen. If you know, I am a SPF girly. I do not play about wearing sunscreen, about wearing your SPF. I don't care if it's rainy, if it's cloudy, no matter what, if it's winter, if it's summer, I wear my SPF. So I'm very excited about this. I have tried Fenty foundation products before, Fenty complexion products, but for the most part, I've kind of just leaned towards the concealers and things like that. So this will be my first time dabbling back into a complexion product with them in a while. So let's jump right into testing the products out and getting into a little bit about the details. So the Hydrovisor Hughes Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum Mineral SPF 30 Sunscreen. Full name. So it's SPF 30, just so you know, which is pretty good for like a tinted complexion SPF product. Um, typically, when I put on my sunscreen before I do foundation or anything like that, it is my um, SPF 50, I believe is what I typically use. So not too bad at SPF 30. It claims to hydrate, boost, boost skin elasticity, visibly fade dark spots, and protect your skin. It does retail for $42. What I found interesting when I went into Sephora is this was not in like the Fenty makeup area. So when you go into Sephora, you actually have to go to the skincare area. So I did like that. And there also is a um, moisturizer that is with this same Hydrovisor line as well. I did not love that this also comes with a refillable case that you purchase separately. I wish they just came together for one price, but you do have the option of not purchasing that, but it does come with it sold separately. This comes in 10 shades. I was between shade seven and shade eight, but because it's summertime and I was literally going to the beach the next day, I opted to go with shade eight. So that's what I'm gonna be trying on my face today. I'm bare face right now, nothing on my face as is. So we're gonna be swatching it clean face. I am gonna do it with my Black Girl Sunscreen um, Make It Matte Broad Spectrum SPF 45 primer because I am literally going outside and I'll be in direct sun exposure all day. So I just want to add a little extra something to it, but it is a light coverage. So you're going to be getting light coverage, radiant finish and hydrating. So this is not like a full foundation. This is literally for a little tinted moisturizer, very skin like, very summer fresh face. You just want a little extra, a little extra tint. So that's kind of what I'm going for. I'm going for just an everyday, I'm putting on sunscreen. I just want to look a little more put together for all day kind of regular wear. Nothing too crazy, not a full beat, nothing like that. So let's go ahead without further ado and test it out. And like I said, she's in one to 10 different shades and they say these are flexible shades. So it's not a full range like foundation. So you'll kind of be somewhere in between the 10 shades. And because it's a tinted sunscreen, it's not going to be like a full coverage to where you need it to be your exact skin tone. So let's go ahead. I'm going to just put on this sunscreen. I'm sorry, this make it matte um, sunscreen gel. They don't really call it a primer. It's a sunscreen gel for the face just for a little extra. I am in the sun a lot and my skin type is sensitive to the sun. So I just like to make sure I'm very careful. And when looking at how to use it, it did say to use your fingers and if you're going to be in the sun a long time to reapply it to your face like you would if you were out in the sun with sunscreen. So they say to use it like sunscreen. I'll be honest, I may use a brush today just to see the application and also just because of my nails, I don't love to use my hands a lot with products, especially tinted products, but we'll see. All right, so I'm just putting this on. As you can see, it's just clear, just letting that set in. Okay, so now I'm just going to put a little bit, I'm gonna try my finger, like it said, I'm gonna put a little bit on my finger and just swatch. And as you can see, before I went to the beach, this was a little dark on me, but I think now this is like a perfect color. So I'm just going to kind of rub this over my face. So very light coverage. 
but I do like there's definitely some coverage there I'm gonna bring you guys in a little bit closer I'll do half my face and then show you the difference in half and versus the other half I want to make sure I'm kind of applying it like sunscreen not foundation I have to remember that okay so it's definitely hydrating it's giving me a little shine though it might actually be too hydrating for me I'm gonna see because I am gonna finish it with the powder so I'm gonna give it some time so this is it on the right side of my face with just that um, matte sunscreen gel underneath it and this is the left side of my face with nothing on it so you can definitely see the shine and the hydrating effect but honestly for me sunscreen always gives me a little bit of shine anyway so that's not really weird to me but I can see the color and the evenness more of the tint I'm gonna apply it on my whole face now and kind of get an idea for how I would I guess actually wear out if I was using it as a full tinted sunscreen so let me apply it to this side now still gonna use my finger I kind of am interested to see if I use it as a sponge but I guess that may take away from the sunscreenness of it definitely some coverage though yeah even doing that I see the coverage more you can see it on my hands definitely don't see any grayness or white cast which is what I was kind of concerned about with it being a sunscreen I have never really used a tinted sunscreen I kind of always just go with either foundation or just a sunscreen I've never really used anything in between so this is kind of my first experiment with this as far as like if you can layer it how that works because it's not a foundation it's a sunscreen I mean I guess I put sunscreen on my neck so I'm like so I guess I can put some on my neck too okay so this is the sunscreen just as is I'm looking at my other mirror just to see how it looks so you definitely get the shine that you get with the sunscreen which again when I do my regular sunscreen I get but I still get the color of a tinted moisturizer and there's no grayness so I guess that's the benefit of it how I think I would use this if I actually was like wearing it out I have the Fenty bright fix eye brightener because I would still want some like color under my eye I would still go in with this still not using any thing like crazy or super foundation-y because I'm going for a light summer face I would just put this eye brightener right under my eye let that sit a little bit I may use my sponge for this you could use your finger but again I have nails so I can't really get into under my under eye like that I would just use my sponge and kind of blend this right under my eye just to brighten that a bit I haven't filled in my brows and I do just have on some lashes so I'm still just going for a pretty natural face I feel like the Sun just did something funky okay so doing that with the under eye there we go okay the light definitely just did something funky like I said it's sunny outside but the Sun is moving okay now you can see that color again I think I'm just gonna take just a little bit of powder because yes sunscreen is shiny but if I am going for a more put together look I don't just want like I just put sunscreen all over my face I'm just gonna take some powder and put that under my eye because we still want natural but put together I've never been a like no makeup make makeup girl like I woke up like this kind of makeup I've always been no makeup or full beat like if we gonna do it let's do it I either am no makeup or I'm in a drag queen it's I've never really had an in-between so for summertime I kind of wanted to experiment with some in-between and I am complexion I'm sorry complexion I am combination um, oily especially in my t-zone which I feel like is where you're really seeing the sunscreen kind of do its shine thing so what I'm going to do is I still want to do some blush though is that is that weird is that a weird thing I am going to go in with just a big fluffy brush because again if we're going to do a little something I'm going to big fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with my 
uh, Fenty powder, which is in 410, and just take a little bit of it and just set those really oily areas just a little bit to kind of tone down the shine. Still going for really light. There's the sun again, but just to tone down that shine a little bit. I probably will continue just to kind of play with how the product is, but I definitely just wanted to kind of do a wear test. I'm going for a walk. I'm going to walk to Target. I'm going to walk to Sephora again. And I just wanted to kind of see like, okay, how do we, how does she work in real time? I'm even going to just do a little blush. Oh, I could have used my brush to do my concealer. Take a little bit of my go-to bronzer, which is perfect, especially now that I have a little summer tan. Then we're gonna keep natural. I didn't even realize how much Fenty was gonna be in this face. And I'm just gonna go with my Fenty Gloss Balm or Fenty Glow Balm. And just pop that on. Okay, so that is me just quickly trying the new Hydrovisor SPF 30 tinted sunscreen in the shade 8. Again, this just dropped last week, so I immediately ran and had to try it because I'm outside a lot. And I wanted something just to give me like a little more put together without having to do a full face. It does feel super duper lightweight. There's no fragrance. I haven't noticed any like oxidizer or any changing or anything like that. I do love that it was in the skincare section and has those skincare elements for focusing on hydrating and dark spots and the SPF and things like that. The shine and the kind of hydrating aspect that gives that shine, I do understand because it's a sunscreen, so that's not too off-putting to me. This is really my first time really trying a tinted sunscreen because I've kind of been like, I don't know how I feel about it. I just usually put on sunscreen and then a foundation if I feel like I do need both. So I'm interested to see how it looks on camera, see how it really moves around throughout the day, see if I do feel like I get kind of a more face like put together look but still get the effects of sunscreen as the day goes on as I sweat as I actually get the sun exposure as I really move around so let me know what you think she's $42 let me know if you think it's worth it if you're just going to use your regular sunscreen to do your foundation if you're outside a lot is this something you're interested in is a tinted sunscreen is that something you want to do for like a beach day or like a cute pool girls day or does it just seem like an extra product that you don't really need I'm on the fence like I said, I'm going to give it a day. I'm going to kind of play with it. I'm on the fence, though. I'm not mad at how it looks. I'll say that. And I like how the color went on. So we'll see. Let me know your thoughts. I just wanted to grab it, try it out for the SPF girlies, the outdoor girlies, for like a cute little picnic date or something. This could be a good product. So let me know your thoughts. Drop it down in the comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.